Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. We are halfway through the week. Yay! I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see most of you today for our live lesson, but we'll come back to that in a moment. So I have some fun things to share today. Let's take a look. So my friend Amber is an artist and she does it in her spare time. She doesn't have too much of that, but with quarantine, she's found the opportunity to go back to some art. So I wanted to share how cool this is. It is a kick drum heart. Um, so a kick drum, you pedal the drum, uh, the, you tap your foot on the pedal and then the um, axe looking thing beats on the drum, but instead of the drum, she has a heart. So when you push on the pedal, it beats on the heart. How cool is that? Super cool, great job, Amber. And yesterday I looked out my um, window and I saw, if you see right here on the line, a beautiful red cardinal. And if you looked, over this way, one of my neighbors has a little girl and she had a birthday. Look how cool. It is a unicorn with some pinwheels and some balls, like super, super, super cool. So happy birthday, neighbor. So cool. All right, taking a look at our schedule. Um, nothing new has been added, but if you haven't checked out the Alma Morning Message, or the important assembly note, please check those out. Our schedule, the daily routine is the same. A morning message and bell ringer. Yesterday for Think Outside the Box Tuesday, um, I had two kiddos send me in a Think Outside the Box. So I did, um, it's not a star, it's the hat for the one of the fairies in Sleeping Beauty. And my friend Wyatt said, it's not a hat, it's a cat with a unicorn horn. And an older kiddo, who sometimes comes to our lessons for fun, sent me her. She said, it's not a star, it's a witch's hat. So thank you, Wyatt and Lavea, for sharing. That's so cool. Thank you, thank you. Today is right at Wednesday. So... I love Pete the Cat, and I know some of my friends do too. So if you click on the Learn More, this picture that I have here will be blown up, and it gives you the address of where you can mail letters to Pete the Cat. Um, but if you have another favorite book character that you write a letter want to write a letter to, if you Google where you can send, send fan mail, you can send them a letter. So super cool. That's right at Wednesday. Um, today at 10, my third graders only, third grade, if you received a calendar invitation, I would like you to try to attend the workshop at 10 o'clock on grammar. So again, uh, third grade only, if you got a calendar, please come to the workshop. 10.30 to 11.30, I will have personal learning lab for K-4 and 6. At 12, I will have Connects U for my K-4 kiddos. And today is a special day. It is April 22nd, so it is Earth Day. So we are going to play an Earth Day themed Kahoot. If you have a phone or a tablet, um, please bring that with you because it's easier if you have um, the question on the computer screen and you can answer on your tablet or phone. Um, so if you have that, that'd be awesome if you brought that. Then we're going to follow up with Harry Potter Read Aloud right after, around 12.30. Today we're going to read chapter 12. And chapter 12 is The Mirror of Arise. And it's Christmas at Hogwarts. So come dressed in your Yuletide best and let's have some Christmas in April and have some fun. And I have a challenge for you. So let me pull up my hangout with the phrase in it. I want to know who can tell me what the phrase, it's in the hangout, in our group hangout. I'm not, not sharing my hangout screen so I don't wanna show you anyone's personal messages. But 
if you go to our group hangout, I say the theme is Christmas at Hogwarts, so don your best Christmas apparel. Your challenge is to learn what a Simordanalp is. And yes, the spelling is correct. What is a Simordanalp? And decode this message. Arise, straua, oit, ub, kafro, ut, oin, washi. Arise, that's a part of our title of this chapter, the mirror of arise. So try to decode that and we'll talk about it. Super exciting. And then of course, five to eight live learning help is available for anyone. Check-ins. Today I have Bentley and Mason making up at 1.40, Annabelle making up at two, Blaine making up at 2.15, I have Benicia at 2.30, Thursday, I have Blake at 8.15 and Devin at 2. Friday, I have Caleb and Kendall at noon, Aiden making up at 12.45. Your check-in challenge, solve this riddle. A word I know, six letters it contains. Remove one letter and 12 remains. What is it? I have not had anyone guess it yet, so keep trying. Um, snapshot of events, color and sing along with Lisa Loeb and Crayola at 11 and the daily events, art and craft tutorial, home safari, and Zoom dance party. All right, our last thing is our sign language. So we have learned A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Today is T, and T is kind of like M and N. It's just like this, so M, your thumb goes under your fingers, on, but on top of your pinky. N, your thumb goes under your fingers on top of your ring finger. T, your thumb goes under your finger on top of your uh, tall man. So T, we have learned apple, banana, cat, dog, Easter, friend, I as in me, Japan, yeah. oh, I skipped, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, this is what happens when I go fast, F, G, giggle, happy, then I, then Japan, kindness, C, D, F, G, H, J, J, K, L, learn, Music, neighbor, ocean, please. Q was for quarantine. R is for read. S is for safe. Ooh, I need to remember how to do safe. So safe is safe. And then T is for teacher. Teacher. T is for teacher. All right, my friends, stay groovy. See you soon.